Okay, very good. All right, here we go. All right, Capricorn, so I'm seeing that um, there is some news coming um, pertaining to love for some of you. Um, this could be a long time coming. This could be something that's not expected for some of you, okay? Um, now, others, um, in this news that is coming, okay, pertaining to love, this is going to be a situation um, that is going to put you in a position to decide if you want to be united with someone or if you would prefer to be single, okay? Some of you might be enjoying being single at this point in time and not so sure about um, building a relationship with another person or just in general when it comes to life, you're enjoying your freedom, you're enjoying your singleness. Some of you are just trying to understand um, for yourself what it would be like to receive some type of news pertaining to someone wanting to um, take something to the next level and um, get you out of that single stage. So some of you are currently single and some of you um, some of you are attached to someone um, regardless if you are fully together or not. There is some some question here as to where a particular situation in terms of love is going. Are we going to stay single and be individuals or are we going to take this to the next level? And it looks like someone here either wants to offer you, um, you know, a cup of love, some unity, or you would like to offer something to someone. Um, I'm getting the idea, yes, that um, for some of you, this is someone that you feel very connected to. All right, this could be a twin flame situation. Um, but we're also seeing the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So this love news that comes in or is presented is going to change your life um, for the better or could change your life for the better, okay? Because with the Ace of Pentacles, there is a lot of growth here. There is a lot of gain over situations past. So we're, we're talking about... Um, financial um, prosperity, we're talking about matters of the heart, we're talking about home, we're talking about career here, all right? Now, we're also seeing here with the King of Pentacles, all right? This is someone that is wanting to bring in some generosity. Maybe you are the one that has been very generous or looking to be generous um, in a union and, and give a new beginning or give some type of um, new life experience to someone. But I do see here, um, we do have a lot of pentacles here. So for some of you, if this isn't ringing true when it comes to love, this is pertaining to um, work here, finances. Um, some of you might be receiving some information pertaining to something you would love to do, something you've been trying to do on your own, something you've been independently working on, and someone comes in to offer you something very, very generous, something that will change your pockets, change your world ultimately altogether. Um, you might be wondering, do I want to um, continue to do this as a solo deal um, or do I want to take this person up on this offer? You too could be contemplating um, a partnership pertaining to something that you love um, and wanting to offer someone that could help you with this endeavor. But ultimately, I do see that this is something that um, pulls at your heartstrings. So it's either something that you um, love to do and are very invested in it, or this could be um, something that you yourself um, are looking to receive uh, on the other end, some, some type of life-changing moment, regardless if it's love or career, however it applies, okay? So let's see here. Okay, so we have the temperance card here. 
which signifies that there is going to be a lot of healing um, that comes in here. Okay, temperance talks about balance. It talks about healing. It talks about harmony. Okay, so I do feel like this particular situation um, being with someone else in this particular situation, if it's building a relationship in love or building a relationship in um, doing something that you're already doing, okay, already producing here and bringing or receiving an offer, um, a generous offer that will help you get more balanced, okay? There's something here that will prompt healing and um, prosperity here. What are the outside influences here? Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, so what I'm, I just, it keeps repeating itself. What I'm seeing here, um, this, I mean, I, I see pentacles here. I see cups here. Um, this definitely is for some of you pertaining to doing something that you love and still making money okay doing what you love um for some of you this is love growing in a direction of where it will change your life but for some of you i do also feel like the answer to all of this is you know finding love and being able to operate out of love and and bringing in some things that will be prosperous for you not just in terms of a relationship um, but because you'll be much happier it'll allow you to be more productive in setting goals maintaining goals achieving goals that sort of thing um, so the outside energy again here is uh, the eight of pentacles okay so this is someone that is um, wanting to work on something with you okay I feel like with the King of Cups also being right here, okay, this is uh, a strong romantic energy here. Um, this is someone that wants to work on something with you um, romantically, okay? Romantically, there's someone here that wants to work on, on some thing here, which I believe is a relationship. Um, some of you might be going into partnership um, with someone that you care about or you work with someone or working on a project um, where you are now wondering if this person is looking at you romantically is this person going to offer me some type of romantic gesture or you yourself are looking to offer someone um, a romantic opportunity here but I do see that um, the vibe that I'm getting is that there is someone here that would like to work on something romantic with you. And maybe this partner, um, maybe this is someone that you are working with um, and doesn't know how to approach you or you are feeling like this person is going to approach you or you want to approach them. Um, but there is, there is, um, I get the feeling of uncertainty here, okay? Yeah, we have uh, Mr. Sneaky Man here, okay? Um, now, again, this could be something hidden. Um, either you are hiding this feeling from someone or someone is hiding these feelings from you. Yeah, someone is holding back, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing so far. So, um, let's see. I need some more here. What is the... Okay, Seven of Cups. Okay. So, some of you have some options here, okay? You guys are possibly around a lot of people. You're working on a lot of things. 
Um, maybe there's more than one person bringing an offer to you. Maybe there is um, this King of Pentacles, someone that you are currently working on something with um, and wants to offer you something other than a partnership when it comes to um, this project or um, maybe this person doesn't just want you to see them as a co-worker or vice versa. Maybe this is how you're feeling about someone. Um, but I also see here that there is someone that wants to work on something with you as well romantically. Maybe this is causing some confusion in a relationship um, to go to the next level because maybe you are considering other options at this point in time. Maybe you are working with someone that you feel romantically drawn to um, and you're trying to work on something with someone already, okay? And so maybe you feel like, um, you know, this is some type of sneaky activity or maybe you're hiding these feelings um, because you know that you're trying to work on something with someone um, and, and you're holding back um, this information about how you're feeling. So there, it does look like there is some sneaky activity um, or just not... Um, not expressing what's really going on um, but there is this seven of cups here that signifies that you have a lot of possibilities or options or this could also just speak of um, being confused here okay like i said in the beginning some of you are trying to figure out do i want to be single do i want to be unified with someone do i want to make an offer do what i like to receive an offer you know and um so there is some confusion here for a lot of you, but for some of you, you simply have a lot of options here, all right? Someone here is um, suspecting, um, or there's some feelings, um, a coworker, someone that you're working on something with, um, or someone that possibly has the same interests. Um, and then there is... Um, someone um, that wants to work on something with you okay all right now we did get the three of swords here so um yeah this is um yeah i feel like some of you have a decision to make some of you are already in a in a relationship rather um and you're wanting to explore other options okay um now again remember this could be vice versa all right, I get those messages down below saying, uh-uh, that wasn't me, that was him. All right, so Three of Swords here. Why is the Three of Swords here, just to be clear? Um, yeah, and some of you are just really, really confused as to what you want to do right now in your life, okay? Um, you know, some of you have some offers coming your way. Um, some of you, like I said, are single, trying to make sure that you're, you know, picking the right mate. Some of you that are single, you know, you feel like this King of Pentacles, you know, could be coming in and offering you something very solid here. All right. But then you have someone um, from the outside here that also wants to work on something with you. Um, this could have been someone from your past, someone that, you know, you don't feel like you can fully trust and, you know, you're holding you're holding your heart close because for some reason from the past or maybe just knowing what you know about that person, you're not quite sure if this offer or moving forward with them is something that you want to do or if you just want to stay um, single here, okay? Um, because of the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, you are very, very comfortable right now. You're comfortable in um, what you're doing, how you're doing it. Um, you know, you're growing something on your own. You're you're building um, your your goals and your aspirations. You've been operating um, in a way that says, you know, I can do this. I don't necessarily need to have someone come on board, but you know. You're trying to figure that out. You're trying to, some of you are trying to promote healing from, you know, seasons past, you know, issues that you've had with relationships prior to. Um, some of you are looking to solidify 
a relationship here um, with someone, but just being confused as to who. Okay, so that is what I see here for you guys. Um, let's get some angel guidance here. Sorry guys, I just had a moment. I was trying to hear something um, that was of importance, I believe. I'll share that with you guys in just one moment. Um, some of you, <clears throat> don't want to make the mistake of choosing the wrong partner um, because you feel like you may have chosen wrong before okay um, for some of you this is why you have operated in singleness in a while um, because you might not trust your own um, what's the word? Your own ability to choose. I want you guys to really understand that this temperance card, this healing card, um, also needs to promote not just the healing, but to give yourself some credit to be able to make better decisions when it comes to a partner. Um, when it comes to um, choosing the things that would serve you, choose the things that are going to be more in alignment to what your goals are, what you ultimately want to do, what would ultimately light your fire, so to speak, you know, your true desires. And once you decide to choose yourself ultimately first and align everything up to what your desires are it'll be very evident as to who and what plays right into what it is that you're looking for um, a lot of times pe people will try to say oh you're just too picky um, no it's not that I'm picky it's just that learning now um, not to put my wants and, and needs and desires, you know, on the back burner allows me to be a little bit more crystal clear into my own thought process. I am able to draw people in situations more clearly around me. So for in instance, if I know that I want this type of person and I've really taken the time to focus on building a relationship with someone that has A through Z qualities. I'm not going to entertain someone that comes my way that has only A through F qualities because that's a, a, a lot of things that are being missed, right? So um, Spirit is saying to, to choose yourself first. Um, get this balance within yourself first and this will align you into the appropriate situations and relationships that ring truer to what um, makes your heart beat, okay? Um, that's what I'm hearing. So um, that's the message. Let's, let's see how um, you in the month of June are, are going to be able to move through this what's the angel advice okay so they're coming out saying you you already know what to do okay um, it says that trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay some of you know what to do intuitively you know what decisions to make you know what you need to do to make the, the decisions um, and you're second guessing yourself um, and so they're saying you know what to do um, now, you did get Divine Order. I absolutely love this card um, when it comes out because it says everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlining order. All right. Yeah. So for some of you, um, 
you know, when we're, we're talking about, um, you know, if this is someone that you feel is sneaky or withholding, you know, um, you know, if you feel like you're seeing that, right? It says, you know, use your intuition um, and also allow things to flow the way that they're supposed to. Some of you, I don't know who this is for, some of you are choosing to hold on to someone that wants to work things out with you and there's a comfortability with that person, all right? But there is an illusion and there is some um, underlying order that's not kept. And so sometimes we don't want to choose the unfamiliar versus the familiar because we don't know what that'll look like and how that'll feel. And we, you know, that leads to confusion and, you know, all, all of those things. So, um, you know, just make sure that you understand that if you really, really make a, a conscious decision that I will not sacrifice this, I will not, um, just settle for that anything that comes your way that is in alignment with that or falls away based on it not being in alignment with those things needed to fall away and needed to come forward so um, it could be unfamiliar people um, that come your way it could be familiar people that fall away that sort of thing and that can be daunting for some of us but Everything is how it needs to be right now, okay? And remember to look past the illusion and see the underlining order, okay? Because there is order coming for you, okay? Okay, Capricorn, there's divine order coming. Um, chakra clearing, okay? Um, I believe this is exactly what we're talking about here with the temperance card. There needs to be some form of inner healing, and this will promote harmony, um, for whoever comes in. So once you get yourself fully balanced and um, you get your own cup filled, now you'll have something to give to someone and you'll choose a partner that's willing to give something to you, okay? So it says, call upon me and clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes, okay? So for some of you, you do need to do some type of energy healing. I think for some of you, because... Um, you know, there might be some confusion here, all right? Um, and so, you know, the idea here is is to get clear and to get balanced, all right? Um, but you guys already know that. I, I think that there is a decision here um, that you guys need to make or needed to make, and it's just been something that's been um, difficult for you to do, okay? Um, but once you get your mental in order, it all makes sense to you that this is how it needs to be. You know, this is how it needs to be in order for you to, to be happy ultimately. All right, so let's do this. Let's get Wisdom of the Oracle. Let's get a message. Um, I do feel like um, some of you are going to have some form of regeneration here. There's going to be some new growth that comes from this. Um, this will not be an easy season for you guys um, when it comes to getting real with yourself and um, choosing yourself first and really going after the things that you want and need and making decisions um, pertaining to what you love to do and pertaining to um, love period. But it is doable, okay? I don't see anything here that signifies that you're not going to be able to do it or that you're not going to do it at all um, based on, you know, 